In today's video, I will show you how to customize the loadout system that I've made for the Roblox FPS template. Before we start, thank you for all the video suggestions and for voting on the weekly polls. It lets me know what you want to see next. Now the UI itself was left pretty basic, so you could have more freedom when customizing it. Inside storage UI, main, there is a local script containing all of the client-sided logic. Modifying the UI is pretty easy. You can just select what you want to modify and adjust the properties accordingly. To customize the buttons that will show up for each gun in game, you can go inside local script and modify these properties. I've also spent a lot of time making the UI look good for every platform. For instance, the iPhone XR. Looks pretty good. Let's try an iPad. Looks pretty good. Let's try a laptop. Looks fine as well. The server cited code is in service script service, loadout server. You don't really need to modify any properties in here, though you can adjust the orientation of the weapon model clone, which you'll see in a bit. Now, to add your weapons, you first need to move your weapon into server storage and then into the weapons folder. For demonstration, I will use the burst blaster, which is currently in starter pack. After that, Go into replicated storage, weapons, and now you can clone any of these folders, for instance I'll just do auto blaster, and rename it to your weapon. Inside each of these folders, there is a list value. The value assigned to list value would be the order in which the gun appears in the selector on the left. Currently, the auto blaster is at 1, the blaster is at 2, and burst blaster is still at 1 because we cloned auto blaster. So we'll just set this to 3. Now, you're all set. I will be making a version 2 of the loadout system with a lot more features eventually but the ideas I have in mind would take a lot longer than a couple of days. Though, I think this is a great loadout system that many will find useful. Let me showcase everything that it can do right now. First, if the player tries to deploy without choosing a weapon, this message will pop up saying to please select a weapon. When a player chooses a weapon, for instance, let's just try Burst Blaster, since we just added it. As you can see, it shows the weapons model. It also tells you what you currently have selected. Now, the player can deploy. And the player gets their weapon. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe and comment down below your video ideas. They might just be my next upload. And don't forget to vote on the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.